What can go wrong when you're buying cheap mini PC? This one is pretty modern one, it seems like it is. Power supply is included, it's 12 volt, it's nice. This thing was listed for 10 euros and I thought that this is amazing deal. It also has this cool pull up thing which says that it was manufactured in September 2017. Its capabilities turned out to be below my expectations, but everything started even earlier. A couple phrases ago I mentioned that it was built in 2017. But do not let this information fool you because it's running on Intel Celeron N2807, which says nothing to you I guess, and it said nothing to me as well. But it's a CPU from 2014. And I thought that, well, Intel Celeron seems to be much better than Intel Atom. Well, because it's called Celeron, you know. And that was my first fatal mistake, I haven't even checked what Intel Celeron is installed there. Uh, of course, I checked the year, but... I couldn't even imagine that Intel atoms of the same age are more powerful than this thing. About how bad this thing is, let's talk later. Right now I want to focus on my psychological state. I'm not a novice to a computer, so can you answer a question? How I thought that this thing supports MSATA SSDs only because there is a sign MSATA. Well, okay, I bought it for 5 euros and it was listed like new SSD. Look at this SSD, it's definitely not new. It looks like Broch has bought lots of boards like this from China and soldered used memory from, I don't know, flash drives to it. Anyway, at the moment I will not be able even to test it because I'm silly. Anyway, we have another thing that will help us today. Oh, by the way, about the internal storage, why do I need an external SSD like this? First of all, Seller mentioned that it does not work and the second, the most important thing, what do you expect me to install on 4GB flash? Just look at this cable. If this this poor thing could, it would definitely win an award for being the ugliest cable I've ever seen. But of course for the price of a few euros and the data transfer speed just look at this, I forgive it for the way it looks. Firstly I decided to install Windows 11, or to be more precise, the bloated version of it called Tiny 11. But the CPU in this computer is that weak that it couldn't handle it. That's why I decided to install Tiny 10, which is the debloated version of Windows 10 and at first glance it seemed to me as sluggy as Windows 11, but after some usage, no, this thing is definitely smoother. Time to launch Minecraft and, well, this is very bad. This is Minecraft's first public release and actually it's running, it's, it's just running. But what about launching the latest version of Minecraft 1.20.2, at the moment it's the latest one. After 7 minutes of creating the world, we finally can see that, well... Oh, something appeared. Of course it's running in literally 1 frame per second, but I'm pretty sure that with some modifications of the game and lowering the resolution, it may be playable uh, in 20 frames per second. And of course, all of this on minimal graphical settings. Of course, we can install here PSP emulator or just to play GTA San Andreas or even to make it a portable gaming console like PS1 by installing PS1 emulator on it. This is a flash drive with Windows PE. PE stands for Pre-Installation Environment. Since this current version I'm using was modified to have some software and due to it itself being very lightweight, I offer you to use CPUs that... Oh god, I wish I hadn't seen that. Even my MacBook from 2007, which was throttling, showed better results. A little bit more information for nerds, and we are moving to a conclusion. What, is it that bad that you can't even check YouTube on it? Check? Maybe. Watch? No. YouTube actually became a very heavy website, and I don't even know how to fix it, but yes, it's running bad on old hardware. Despite of the fact that this thing is very weak, it's actually very power efficient even for its age, and it can be used for some interesting purposes like being a retro console or being even a dedicated server. What way would you use something like this if you had it? Uh, personally, I will just sell it. Check out other videos of mine, and thank you for watching. Goodbye.